Hi guys, my name is Tom and in this video I want to talk about the latest release from Sirui, which is their fifth full frame anamorphic lens. So this is a 135mm lens with a 1.8x anamorphic squeeze aspect ratio which effectively gives you an equivalent field of view of a 75mm spherical lens. Now if you're familiar with my previous videos where I've reviewed uh, the other lenses uh, that Siri released which are the full frame anamorphic lenses, uh, then you'll right away notice that the squeeze aspect ratio does not match. The other lenses are all 1.6x uh, squeeze aspect ratio, this one's a 1.8x. So why the change in that? Well, uh, according to Siri, uh, after I contacted them, they said that they were kind of looking to create a lens that has even more uh, anamorphic characteristics. So uh, definitely that oval bokeh and, uh, and really, really shallow depth of field, which this lens uh, definitely delivers. Also having the field of view that's equivalent to a 75 millimeter spherical lens means that this anamorphic lens uh, is a perfect portraiture lens. Now, if you've only been following me on YouTube, then you might not be aware that outside of YouTube, uh, my regular job, uh, I work on various different film productions, what I would call sort of, I guess the mainstream films or productions, such as uh, like right now I'm working on a new Marvel film. And a lot of these productions, you'd be actually very surprised to see, uh, end up mixing a lot of different cameras, but also a lot of different lenses and in the same film, and sometimes even in the same scene, they'll end up mixing both spherical and anamorphic lenses. And that can be done for various reasons. I mean, sometimes it's just simply because you have different departments filming different shots or, or, or different sequences. And especially when it comes to films uh, that have a lot of visual effects, uh, you'll see a lot of different lenses being used because some lenses are just better suited uh, for a particular, let's say, visual effect. And the reason why I'm saying all this is because I know that a lot of you probably are going to be uh, maybe a little bit worried or just wondering uh, of whether you should be getting this lens, uh, let's say if you already own the other four full frame anamorphic lenses from Sirui, uh, simply considering the fact that this one has a different squeeze aspect ratio. Uh, so I myself actually am uh, planning to do a little short film project uh, where I'm going to use all five of these lenses alongside each other so I can kind of see for myself just how well these lenses kind of play together. my testing so far with this lens I can say that uh, it does definitely create a very similar anamorphic look uh, just like their previous lenses uh, that definitely creates a nice uh, oval bokeh uh, it also creates the very shallow depth of field and that's actually something maybe I'll mention is that this lens among all the other lenses that they released so far creates the shallowest depth of field so most of the time I was shooting with this lens a little bit closed down not because it's not sharp enough when you shoot it wide open, but simply because it sometimes you know, gets very hard to, to be able to keep your subject in focus. So for example, in these shots at night, I was shooting all the time with the lens fully open to be able to, to capture as much light as I could. And uh, I gotta say, sometimes with the real close-ups uh, on my subject here, like being able to keep the focus dead on uh, was was a little bit challenging. So that in that case, I actually uh, would recommend definitely that you get a really, really good follow focus system. Uh, one recently that I reviewed, uh, I'll provide a link for that, you guys can check out. And that one I really like because uh, uh, single-handedly me, I could operate the camera and with just a slight, basically, touch on my finger there, I was able to 
we have the full reach of the, the, the focus settings here on this lens because the focus ring or the throw of the focus ring here is quite big and so sometimes like if you were trying to, to go from let's say one extreme to the other on the focus it might be a little bit difficult trying to do that by hand uh, like directly uh, you know pulling the focus so having a really good follow focus system like that will definitely come in handy and also just having a good rig where you know you're supporting properly this lens uh, and then you know you have all your accessories attached and stuff is uh, definitely uh, something I would highly recommend that you guys look into if you guys want again check out the link in the description of this video uh, where I kind of talk about my, my setup So when it comes to the overall look that this lens creates so far again with the tests that i've done uh, i can definitely tell you guys that it, this is one of the, the sharpest anamorphic lenses so it matches up very well uh, with the previous anamorphic lenses from Sirui. Uh, but it also gives you a lot of organic sort of anamorphic qualities uh, such as uh, the like i said the really shallow depth of field the, the oval bokeh uh, you can also get the horizontal light streaks if you want it but if you also want to minimize it, then you can also do that. So it just really depends on the camera settings. And uh, when you point the lens just off, you know, to the side, to some kind of nice strong light source, uh, then you will be able to create some of those nice blooming effects uh, that I also liked uh, with the previous anamorphic lenses from Sirui. As far as the build quality, this lens is again just as well built as their previous lenses. Uh, it's, it's all full metal construction. I also like again that their aperture rings and their uh, focus rings are spaced out uh, the same uh, as their other lenses. So if you're switching between the lenses a lot, then it just makes it that much faster because you don't have to adjust your uh, any follow focus or any other accessories that you might have uh, attached to your rig. And just like their other uh, full frame anamorphic lenses, uh, they have a threaded front end that has a diameter of 82 millimeters. So it plays really well with a lot of the pro cinema accessories, such as like, for example, the matte packs that I was using with this. Now the aperture on this lens goes from all the way wide open at T2.9 to T16. Uh, by the way, the closest focus distance that this lens can achieve is uh, three feet or 0 0.9 meters. Again, just like I mentioned before with the other lenses uh, or any anamorphic lenses, because they all suffer from that, 
uh, is that if you do want to be able to get in closer, you can just by putting diopters uh, on the front of your lens. Now, this whole lineup of these full-frame anamorphic lenses from Sirui are designed to work with mirrorless cameras. The lens that I have up here is the E-mount version, but you can also get this in RF mount, L mount, and Z mount. So personally, I'm very excited to finally have my hands on this lens and uh, test it out further alongside the other full-frame anamorphic lenses from Sirui on my upcoming projects and a short film that I mentioned. So I can share with you guys my, my thoughts, my findings. I'm also gonna be doing some side-by-side -side comparisons of this lens versus some of their other lenses. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, then you can find all the links for that in the description of this video. Uh, or, or as always, check out my website at tomantosfilms.com. Uh, and that's also where you'll be able to find the links to uh, where you can get this lens right now and all the discount codes and everything. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.